We must be free not because we claim freedom but because we practice it. Sir William Cuthbert Faulkner, born on 25th September 1897 in the Mississippi in the U.S., died on 6th July 1962 in Mississippi in the United States of America, was an American writer known for his novels and short stories. A Nobel Prize laureate, Faulkner is one of the most celebrated writers of American literature and is considered the greatest writer of Southern literature. William Faulkner said, we must be free not because we claim freedom. When you claim, before you claim, like the saying in India, before you ask a share of your parents' property, you should build a bigger property than them and then you do not even have to claim the other gets melted with this one. Only then you can call it freedom. The other one was not freedom. It was suppressed robbery. William Faulkner said we must be free not because we claim freedom but because we practice it. That practice is very important for everybody. Just look into that claim and practice and freedom. If you are practiced it with your parents, the samskriti, the culture, you fall in love with your land. And I heard in the Second World War, they wanted to bomb Kyoto, the culture center of Japan. And Kyoto is such a beautiful place. I have been to that place. Even I have fallen in love with Kyoto. And it seems the American president at that time said, don't bomb Kyoto because he was there in Kyoto and he didn't want that beauty and the love to be disturbed. Hence, they went and put the atomic bomb in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. If the parents and the children practice that in their land, no child will ever cut a tree or even think of selling that land. It is almost like selling their own child or their own wife or their own parents. We must be free not because we claim freedom but because we practice it. Your practice creates the footprints for your generation which is walking behind. They say when the child is in the stomach, parents shouldn't fight among each other because that will be the culture of the child in the stomach. From that day till the age of 12, the child picks up as much as possible. That carries it till the graveyard, it seems. Psychologist says, Nobody grows after the age of 12. It stops. William Faulkner said, we must be free not because we claim freedom. Yes. Yes, we can claim richness. We can claim health. Not because we are free to do whatever we like, but because we practice it. If you practice it, then you will not visit medical shops or hospitals because in the practice where you're practicing you weave that nest so beautifully that without you going to any engineering college you know to build such a beautiful nest that 
the entry of the nest is so small only that small bird can enter and not an eagle or a bigger bird to disturb the weaving is such beautifully done it is natural those birds did not go to any school or college and the weave it in such a way when the rain comes also the egg or the babies inside is not disturbed at all we must be free not because we claim freedom yes because we practice it when you practice it you do not even have to claim people come behind you and beg you once more once more because when you practice a thousand times you go to the stage you can always hear the sound once more once more in our karnataka we say chapale and chapuli if you practice beautifully chapale means you get a clap if it is not that then you will get chapuli means you get slippers people throw slippers at you that when slippers are thrown at you you crash you have a disease you call depression which everybody in the software world and everybody asks oh i got a depression because i lost my examination you have not lost anything because how can you lose what is given by god how could you say you lost it it is not your property that you can lose it it is not your property that you said i we claim freedom no no when you were born all this were given free of course without a single pie asked by nature or god it is yours given and nobody came and knocked every day to check your meter reading whether you are using it properly it's up to you how much you love and when that love penetrates deeper you can see the whole world opens up to you and that is where you see deep down only god in all the forms will you focus on you must be free not because we claim freedom you must be free not because we claim freedom but because we practice it we practice freedom we practice love we practice our samskriti when you practice your samskriti the land is so powerful how could you go to the cities and die in the weekends into the bar and drink you become a workaholic not a drunkard you will immediately take the next vehicle to rush up to your family tree where from your childhood you have planted so many beautiful trees the sand the smell of the sand and the birds and the cows pet animals and the beautiful huge long tree to intent crime and that is that turns out to be your weekend rejuvenations and love and from the tree branch you jump into your pond you have a diving tactics it is freedom 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 in that freedom when you meet with the nature what more you want this is free only health poverty free only richness if this too is not there the yin and the yang what else you want it william faulkner said we must be free not because we claim freedom don't claim anything from your parents don't claim anything from your gurus or from the state also when you claim they they put you in a in a reserved compartment and they call you reserved for the next lot to be chopped you know 